We're taking these toy cars over 500 miles for a Guinness World Record attempt for the longest journey by toy car. This has everything that I need for two months on the road. We got a cheering squad for our first day. Yeah. <laughs> this is the starting line right here in Jacksonville, Florida. Starting today, we have to make it all the way to the finish line in Key West. The official Guinness World Record starts now. This is our tracker required by Guinness World Records. So Guinness World Records knows where we're at at all times. And we're off. Half mile down the road. And Brandon's like, did you remember to turn on the tracker? No, I forgot. Now I'm turning on the tracker. We quickly realized that our cars would have trouble fitting through tight spaces. Luckily, the mirrors fold in, which would be a lifesaver on this world record attempt. <laughs> We were trying to make it through this narrow sidewalk past a bush when these amazing people who have been watching the world record pulled up next to us. They were excited to see us and they asked us to take pictures holding their dogs. So we did. Careful, don't scratch the paint. Something on the bottom of my car just scraped really bad. The manufacturer of this car said the one thing we have to make sure we never do is scrape the bottom of the car. It's the one thing that could really lose us the world record. Right after I scraped my car, Lauren stopped because she was having an issue too. Everything that makes the car work is below the car and there was a twig stuck in it. Luckily, she pulled it out before it caused any damage and we finally saw the sign for Jacksonville Beach, which is where our hotel would be for the night. Then we stopped at some taco stand that we ate at last time we failed the Guinness World Record attempt, but it was close, so we just got back on the road. Lauren spotted a full-size Porsche, so we had to pull over and take a picture of it for our logbook. We had to stop just to do this. It's just too cute. Our first time next to a real Porsche. Go. And that if you saw my last YouTube video where we failed the Guinness World Record, this is the parking lot where we failed. <laughs> Which means we're officially at six miles for the day. And this car hasn't even needed a battery swap. Hell yeah. We're outside every day on this record and the sun is absolutely wild. If we don't want to be like totally sunburned at the end of this, we need to put on a lot of sunscreen. I had to pee so bad, but it was hard to find a good spot to stop. But luckily, I spotted a porter potty on the side of the road. What is it? Lauren's has something back there she wants. It's a Pokemon card. Oh my god, a Pokemon card. Wait, which one is it? I don't even know. Okay. I have no idea. I like it. You should put it on your car. I know, that's what I want to do. It's blue. <laughs> Yay. Getting even closer, baby. I accidentally just rear-ended Lauren's vehicle. She had to stop real quick back there and I was going a little bit too close to her. There's a little bit of a crack in her frame right there, which is not good for the first day. The frames of these vehicles have to stay intact. We're not allowed to switch out the frame. It's a Guinness World Record rule. We can only swap out parts, not anything on the frame of the vehicle. Unless that piece maybe comes out, I don't know. Anything that's blue can't be fixed. I gotta be more careful. And she has to tell me when she's gonna stop because we can't have that happen again. Okay, I'm flooring it and I'm barely moving. My battery is dying bad. I am crawling right now. This is like full throttle. Lauren's is still doing well, but her car is in total good condition. Yeah, wow, yeah. My car is not going as fast as hers is right now. Mine is dying bad. And I think it might be because of the clunking tire problem. My tire has a problem where the tire has been like clunking since we got it. I messaged the manufacturer waiting her back. I think that might be the issue right now. So we're gonna stop any minute now. I'm trying to make it to that KFC up there. First pit stop KFC, baby. Here we are parked right here. We're about halfway to the hotel for the night and my battery is just about dead. So if we do make it, we're just barely gonna be pulling up to the hotel on fumes. Let's eat. Cause I'm starving and it's like 4 p.m. It's time for the first battery swap. It actually has these little things that hold your hood up in a real car. And this is our battery situation. My tire has been making this clunking noise all day. So Brandon tried to fix it while I did my first battery swap of the world record. The batteries are heavy, but I'm so happy with how easy it was to try to figure out the wiring. First battery swap complete. Bye KFC. I was so 
excited to pull up to a Sonic, but they had nothing gluten-free on the menu, and I'm celiac, so we had to keep moving. The sun was going down, and it went from being crazy hot to really cold really fast. We passed a grocery store and decided that we had to stop because I hadn't ate all day. She saw some reels or TikTok or YouTube and signed our way to book and took a picture with us for the logbook. Lauren, how far are we from the hotel? Okay. 4.8 miles from the hotel, baby! Woo! Even being in Florida, I had to put on my gloves with how cold it was getting. Okay, we are officially in night mode, baby! There's our backlight. And this thing has headlights, so the front will have headlights. But it only has brake lights in the back, so we have a light at all times in the back. I'm gonna hang that from there. And that's our back end. The headlights are turning on for the first time. Wow! Damn! All right, those will be really useful later. You can't see them well now, but you will when it gets really dark. Oh, it was anticlimactic. <laughs> How many miles to the hotel? 2.3. 2.3, baby! That means we're only gonna have to do a little bit in the dark tonight. We encountered our first bridge of the world record attempt. I was grateful that we fit on the sidewalk and honestly, it was perfect to view the sunset, which was beautiful because it was officially getting dark. <laughs> and this is Lauren's daylight. There's Brandon, we were waiting for him. I'm screaming for you, I'm the cat hey, Lauren. We, we couldn't hear you, we Come missed on. you, but happy you're here. Is the dog with you? Yeah. Dougie's there, let's do it. The sun is officially down. For this entire world record, we're doing a fundraiser to help save animals. The link is down below. Our goal is to raise $10,000 by the end of it. And the merch is also part of the fundraiser to help save animals. And the link to the website to get merch is in the bio below. We're still like a mile and a half away from the hotel. It's gonna be pitch black by the time we get there. The top two donations of the day today. We'll get to name the two animals of my car. I just decided that two seconds ago. There's also a monkey. I'll show you guys that in the end of the video. We're actually posting this a few days late because we need time to edit this for YouTube. So I won't see the donations that come in from today for a few days. So I can't react to them yet, but my reactions will be coming in a few days to whatever donations come in and I could not be more excited. So there's a door in the way. So to get to the room, we have to unpack all this stuff, bring it to the room, and then turn the car sideways and take them to the room. We made it into the hotel room. The big problem is this. Not the dog. The fact that there's only one bed. This was the last room they had available. Obviously, I'm gonna have to sleep in the middle, but we're gonna make it work. At least it was the first floor room, so we didn't have to make it into an elevator. Now I just have to make the logbook. Here's the logbook, and I just printed the first page. It came out so good. Next we stopped and took this little Porsche photo. It sounds like it's printing. The little mini Porsche photo. Print. There it goes. This is the final result. We have our starting point and all of our stops throughout the day. We're about to put the receipt in here for Winn-Dixie. Top speed today was 9.5 miles per hour. Average speed was 2.9. Today's distance was 16.883. It's 10 p.m. now and I gotta start editing this vlog. And I can't wait for a few days from now and I'll see how much we raised for animals so far out of our $10,000 goal. Because these videos are posted a few days late. Sleep tight, I can't wait for day two. See you guys tomorrow. We're attempting to go 500 miles in toy cars. It's a Guinness World Record attempt. Ooh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to make that turn. Ah, some of these tight turns are rough. And even small hills like this, I roll back without my parking brake. But I love that these cars have a parking brake. She had to run far for that button. Lauren ran over something. They're trying to see what it is. I had a gigantic twig stuck in my tire earlier. Thank God Brandon pulled it out or could definitely broken my car. That's what was stuck. 
Car blocking the sidewalk. Ah! Somebody just scraped on the bottom of my car really bad. The manufacturer of these cars said the main thing to make sure you don't do is scrape the bottom of the car. Oh, I gotta be more careful. The same branch Lauren moved last time we were on this trip. We saw the old videos with our old cars. When we failed the Guinness World Record the first time. That's the exact twig that was in the sidewalk last time. My wheel's making a funny noise. Message the manufacturer though. Jacksonville Beach is- Our hotel's in Jacksonville Beach tonight. We're 4.8 miles in, but I am getting low-key starving. But we gotta keep chugging along because there's only a few hours left of daylight, but hopefully we can find food soon.